own. The Bible says, why do you seek to live in amongst the dead? So the same way to be dead to be hanging around the living. So every property that belongs to death, that has been given to you, knowing your other ones, that you are holding on to, contrary to God's plan and purpose for your life, whatever is presenting status in your mind, in your work with God, this morning, release the fire of God to destroy you. That it will burn it off with no residue. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You found spirit of death that is hovering in the atmosphere, hovering in that hole. I have a mandate from the King of Glory today, the mighty man in battle. The one that ordained these four days for liberation. I speak in that authority that has been given to me. Every spirit of death that has been fired into your life. Every garment of death moving around you, round about your children, round about your vicinity. I command them to let you go now. Lift your heart and let them go. Everyone that has been given up for death, every concluded case concerning you. Where they have declared and decreed, nothing good, it is over. Just as pastors came forth, I speak to you right now. Hear the word of the Lord. Let your spirit man receive the spirit of the living God. Receive the word of the Lord. Come forth in the name of Jesus. You foul spirit of failure, the spirit of non-achievement. I command you, lose them, let them go. We see the cause. Lazarus came forth. So everyone that has been programmed for failure, for non-achievement, today we command those cause catch fire. Amen. Come forth. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your spirit of his retrogression. Spirit of stagnation. When Lazarus was coming forth, he was happy. He couldn't move the right way. Whatever has made you not to make progress the way you want to make. You go forward a bit and you stop. You get to a point and then you collapse again and you start again. This one day, enough. Stagnation, you have a name. Retrogression, you have a name. Near miracle syndrome, you have a name. You are subject to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have held them long enough. Hear the word of the Lord. Now. Hear. Online. Lose them and let them go. The resurrection and the life is against you. The spirit of the living God is against you. In any way you have held them bound, in any way you have kept them hidden, hidden their glory, every blessing of God's people that you have held. The Bible says when the thief is caught, we will be made to restore. Today is that day of restoration. Whatever you have taken illegally, hear the word of the Lord. Restore now. Restore now. You are going to be saved by yourself and will get going after you. Every blessing that belongs to me that has been buried, I speak to you, pray for me, my blessings. Begin to tell the earth to commit your blessings. Tell the sea to commit your blessings. You have a voice. It has been empowered by the Spirit of the living God. Open your mouth. Whatever has been held down. Whatever has been tied down. Whatever has been buried in the cold. Remember, it was not last one that buried himself. People buried him. Whatever has buried your blessings. I command those stones. For me, for our blessings. The homes of the earth. Blessings that have been swallowed up by the pythons in your family. Swallowed up by the snakes in your family. Today, they have no choice but to forget it. Your blessings that have been buried in family shrines, family altars, 
for me. Let the heavens for me. Let the atmosphere for me. For me, my blessings. Why? Lord, 
they had no choice. The Bible says God spoke and that officer was appointed to enforce the restoration by him. The same way that woman saw his destiny that was dreaded. The king said to him, give the child back to his mother. Whatever has been taken from you, whatever the enemy has held, in you, we are commanding restoration now. In any shape, in any form, restore. Let them have it. You are being caught. Not only are you going to restore, we are saying double fold, seven fold. You will not restore it the same way you took it. You will restore it in this multiplied state. Everyone that has lost joy, everyone that has lost hope, everyone that has lost opportunity, everyone that has wasted opportunities, by the mercy of God and the grace of God upon this mountain, we are pronouncing restoration, 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 restoration of all things. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are the Almighty. You've got times and seasons. You come from the
he's walking down the road, he's walking through the aisle. He's making possibilities possible. I'm surprised that's what you keep looking at me. The one thought I want to fly. <laughs> the one that is doing what he is doing, is already doing what he's doing. As his one was going forth, he was doing what he was going to do. He sent his word. The word is the power of impartation to me. So if you didn't get it, I don't know where you want to get it. That every possibility has been made possible. And every dead case has been reviewed and opened. Every filthy garment has been destroyed. And you have a new aura over your life. Whatever has been presented, smell. Thirteen, forty-two, thirteen, forty-three, thirteen, man. Yes, and from ancient days I am He. No one can deliver us of my hand. When I ask, who can reverse it? When I ask, who can reverse it? God is acting this morning. Amen. Amen. Walking through dead cases, lost opportunities, buried issues, buried destinies. What a political worship or praise, whichever. And give him liberty to confirm what he has started. I don't want that people excluding us. On the roots of the people. Yes, ma'am. Go on. On the roots of the people.
out of the rock. I am bringing water out of that impossible. All I am asking of you is to wait on me. Don't run ahead of my time. Masata di kerim kari anda asalnya. Ah, I have come down with my voice to you, my voice of warning, because the enemy is cooking up several schemes, schemes to make you fall into trance. Masika di anda asalnya, schemes that will make you lose your soul. Li karunda abari ko seteri anda dia. He's taking opportunity, opportunity of the family that is coming. The family that is going on and the one that is coming is taking opportunity. Ah, my children, I am making a way for you. Don't run ahead of my time. His planet schemes, schemes, and he's coming in form of food. He's coming in form of food. Masata yekerinda asali keya. Le masuta yanda asalia. He's painting it to make it look very juicy. Ah, makasuta yekerinda. It's making it look uh, uh, very juicy that you will not be able to reject. Uh, he said, be careful. Be careful. Don't fall into his trap. Uh, don't fall into his trap. Uh, uh, the kingdom of darkness uh, are taking opportunity of this period, uh, of this period, uh, to lure many, to lure many into captivity. Captivity that will be hard for them to come out from. Likarunda asali kebianda avaria. Make a suit and get in Kalia. Ah, do not be taken away. Do not be carried away by the juiciness of those offer. Do not be taken away. Do not be taken away. Do not be carried away by the juiciness of those offer. Marat to Tali Kerianda. Make a same Mali Kalima Araba. Maaso Tali Keria. Stand with me, your God. Stand with me, your God. To give you. To give you. That wish I have provided for you. That wish I have put it up for you. I am a son taya kalinda azaliya. Li karun ba ali kesi taya nda azaliya. Li keso taya nda. Do not go into any venture. Do not go into anything without asking me. Without asking me. Many of them, many of them are coated with sugar. They are coated. They are coated for inside of them. A worms, a worms that will eat you up. Lika suta yanda azaria, leke marika suta yekeria. Ah, my children, be careful, be careful. Listen to my word, my word of warning. Listen, listen to my word of warning. Lika suta yanda azaria. I have put you inside the ark already. I have put you. Don't buy yourself. Don't buy yourself. Run out of the ark. Run out of the provisions that are paid for you. Masuta yanda asali keria, like marunda asali keria. Ah, what I am providing may look small, but it will come. It will come steadily. It will come steadily. Ah, don't alter. Don't alter for what the enemy is preparing. Don't alter for the feast of the enemy. Don't alter for the feast of the enemy that looks very juicy and palatable. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Sound this morning to your children. Sound this morning to your children. Lima suka linda hasia, lima huka suka linda ya, mahasa taye. Ah, the heavy begin to come over with palaces for children, with things for children. Ah, sound them one is mahasa suka linda ya, like a sete ya. Sound it in their ear, sound it in their ear, sound it in their ear. Thank you, Jesus.
said they are gone and gone. Do not look back. Do not go back. He said, I have taken. I have taken. He said, when I take, it does, it doesn't remain. When I take, he said, you won't find it there anymore. When I take, it will not be found anymore. He said, that I said to you, I have taken them off. I have taken them off. So therefore, you will find them no more. You will find them no more. Yes. Say to God. Let's give him all the glory. Let's thank him for rolling away all those evil garments. Let's thank him for cutting them away. We will see them no more in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we are giving thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we are giving thanks. This morning, we are yet praying again. Psalm 37, verse 5. In a short while, very, very short while. The month of June, the first half of the year, we'll be rolling away. And we are going to be entering into the second half of the year. Psalm 37 verse 5 says, Commit your way into the, unto the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do this. We are going to be handing over the second half of the year into the hand of the Lord. We are going to be saying, Father, take it over. We are going to be joining this this prayer to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 and 19. Matthew 16, 18 and 19. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail over it. Verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. This morning, let's begin to hand over the, month, the second half of the year into the hand of the Lord. You are going to be mentioning every day of those months. You are going to be mentioning those months. July, I hand you over to, God, to the Lord. I hand you over to the Lord. Bow to the Lordship of Jesus. The month of August, bow to the Lordship of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus to bow to the Lordship of Jesus. Masun Tayanda has a new area. Jesus has given me the key. He has given me the key over those months. And everything, all my blessing, we open up to me in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command that the month of July be opened up to me in the name of Jesus. Open up to me for blessing. Open up to me for favor. Open up to me for help in the name of Jesus. Father, I hand over the month of August, the month of September, the month of October, November and December unto you. In the name of Jesus, begin to command those months to bow to the Lordship of Jesus. Bow to the Lordship of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we hand them over to you, Lord. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. We know not what those days for us, us for us, but we know that in you, they all goodness for us. They all testimonies for us. Every other blessing that come that come in those days is ours. They are ours in the name of Jesus. I command that the month of July open up to me for blessing. Open up to me for goodness. Open up to me for the favor of the Lord. Open up to me for divine opportunities. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name. We are praying. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to be releasing the blood of Jesus over every of those months. We are going to be securing those months by the blood of Jesus. We are going to be saying, Father, I reveal the blood of Jesus over the month of July. I secure the month of July by the blood of Jesus. That no evil is permitted to before me, to before my household, to before this assignment. No evil is permitted to before anyone associated with this assignment. Are you praying in the house of the Lord this morning? In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we secure the month of July. By the month of, by the blood of Jesus, we secure the month of August. We secure the month of September, the month of October, November, December. In the mighty name of Jesus, no evil is permitted to come near us. In the mighty name of Jesus, no evil is permitted to locate our children as we go out. In each of those days, in each of those months, I am the Lord who suffered no man to do us work. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, 
We are safe and secure by the blood of Jesus. We are established in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Bible says there is therefore now no enchantment, no divination against the household of royal women. We are going to be praying. I say by the blood of Jesus, we, de we destroy and blot out every evil scheme, every evil arrangement, every evil ordinances that have been projected, that have been enchanted on and get to happen for any member of this house, for this assignment, for any member of your household in the remaining part of this year. We blot it out by the blood of Jesus. We destroy them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Begin to destroy by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Destroy every sin that the enemy has planned. He said he disappointed every of their evil schemes. Every of their evil schemes. He did not allow them to carry them out. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every evil schemes that the enemy has projected, the enemy has planned, every enchantment that he has released into the year concerning the, the next six months of this year. Our Father, we destroy them by the blood of Jesus. He has brought them to happen. We say no to not happen. It will not happen concerning any member of this house. In the name of Jesus. No, none of those people. None of those evil is permitted to happen. The Lord is at them for carrying out their evil plan. Concerning any one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. We destroy and brought out evil schemes that the enemy has projected. That he has projected to happen for any one of us. We block them out. We destroy them out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. There are evil that have been projected to happen. But it will not locate us. Amen. So we are going to be canceling cancel calamities. Calamities that have been programmed for the church in particular. Everything that is going on is calamity that the enemy is protecting against the church. Calamities. Imagine the children. If not for the children, that the, uh, the way the, uh, this ministry is arranging Bible class for the children. Tell me, how are you feeding your children the word of God? Adults are going online to listen to the word of God. What are the children listening to? That is the calamity that the enemy has project, programmed for the church. That the next generation will be without the word of God. We say no in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to be praying so that you will have understanding of the calamity that the enemy is, is starting into this so-called COVID thing. That they are saying the church will not return. They say they are making all manner of noises. We are canceling it by the power in the name of Jesus. We cancel calamity that the enemy has programmed against the church. We cancel it. We abort every of his evil plan. In the mighty name of Jesus. We say it will not happen. It will not happen. We abort every of his evil plan. We cancel calamity that have been programmed for the church. That have been programmed for the next generation. To be without the word of God. We call the against it by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Our children, we have the word of God. Just as we are having the word of God. In the name of Jesus. The calamity of the enemy is to make sure the spiritual life of every believer go down. Father, we say no to it. We say no to it. In the name of Jesus. We cancel this calamity by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to take this prayer again. We are going to be binding every foul spirit of the spirit of untimely death. We are going to be arresting them and putting them in eternal cage. That the spirit of untimely death will not locate any one of us. The spirit of strange sickness that is flying about will not locate any member of our household. It will not locate you, it will not locate your husband or your children or any member of your family. Begin to cry, begin to arrest every spirit of untimely death that the enemy has released into the atmosphere that is hovering about, looking for whom is to devour. We say no, it will not locate us. In the name of Jesus, we arrest and put you in eternal cage. We arrest and put you in eternal cage. Every spouse spirit of death, every spirit of untimely 
death. We arrest and take you in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of sickness, strange sickness, sickness that doesn't have a name, sickness that doesn't have a name, we arrest you and put you in eternal cage. In the name of Jesus, every sickness, strange sickness that is holding out about the household of faith, the household of faith, we arrest you and put you in eternal cage. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say no to your power. We say no to your power in the household of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. There are many people that their name have already been put in the list of debt. We are going to be cancelling every appointment with debt. And we are going to be blotting out as many names as have been put in the register of debt. This morning, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to cancel every appointment with them. Everyone that has had that have had appointment with them, we cancel your appointment this day by the name that is above every other name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cancel appointment with them. We cancel the appointment of death. Every husband that has been appointed to die this day, we say no. We cancel your appointment with death in the name of Jesus. Every wife, every child that has been appointed to die this we cancel that your appointment in the name of Jesus. Blot out their name out of the death of register. In the name of Jesus. We blot out your name. We blot out your name by the blood of Jesus. Out of the register of death. In the name of Jesus. We say no. You will live. You will live. You will live. You will not die. You will live. to declare the goodness of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. We have a covenant of life. And we are saying, every covenant child is exempted from evil. Is, ex is exempted from untimely death. Is exempted from strange sickness in the name of Jesus. Now begin to exempt yourself. You are a covenant child. I am a covenant child. If your, your husband is a covenant child, we have a covenant of life in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, every covenant child is exempted from evil. Every covenant child, we are under the umbrella. We are under the act of covenant in this place. Jesus has the covenant of life with us. And so we are exempted from sickness. We are exempted from untimely death. We are exempted from every evil in the name of Jesus. It is assignment is exempted from every form of evil in the mighty In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. We are going to be commanding every arrow of sickness, every arrow of death that have been sent to the household of God to backfire into their camp. In the name of Jesus, Amen. open your mouth and begin to make the pain. Begin to make the pain right now and send the arrow back to them. They have sent the arrow, but we are sending it back. That it will go back into their camp. We command the arrow of death. We command the arrow of sickness. Arrow of evil to backfire in the time of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command them to go back to their camp. It will not prosper in our camp. We go, we send it back to their camp. We send it back to their camp. To their children, to their husbands, to their wives, to their generation. We send it back to them in the name of Jesus. It will not locate us. It will not prosper in our camp. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Isaiah 43, verse 3. Isaiah 43, verse 3. For I am the Lord your God, the only one of the royal women, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom. Amen. And I give Cush and Seba instead of you. There are, there are people that have been appointed to die. There are people that have been appointed to ask you to this. They are going to say, Lord, give Egypt as a ransom for us. Instead of us, let them begin to fall into the, the, the peace they have done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give Ethiopia 
Give seven, give me Jesus as a ransom for me and my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying? If you know what the enemy has told them, you will pray like your life depends upon it. How many deaths are you yet this enemy? Many of them are not COVID related and they will still be more deaths. Pray. The people will not come here with prayer. Amen. 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 Don't say, ah, you are buying them, you are ransoming. Yes. yes. We hear about it. Amen. Death will take its toll, though. There will be deaths. Announcement of deaths. Even in the calm, but not our calm. Amen. How many servants of God people that have died recently? <laughs> what did they say to you then? It is part of what it here is blowing me. So don't get tired. It is your prayer. The covenant works that will exempt you. Amen. This prayer point, I've seen some of these like death. As long as we are alive, it is not permitted to come near us. Amen. You are saying, Father, give Ethiopia and send her as a ransom for us. Amen. Every appointment that has been made on our behalf, we cancel it. See, the number must be accomplished. But your name will not be there. Amen. My name will not be there. Amen. Our children will not be there. Amen. So Father, give it up here and send it as a ransom for us. Give it it as a ransom for us. That our names are exempted from that people register. We will not be numbered there. Our children will not be numbered there. We will not be used to feel the number of death that we recorded this year. Our hopes are secured by your blood.
But we Christians, we have this attitude of sleeping. We always believe by towards the end of the year they carry out the activity. Then they strategize every day and we they sleep. That is why the Bible says they are wiser in their own generation. But this time around, by the grace of God, God has accepted this assignment. He has accepted those of you watching us online that we should prepare ahead of them to nullify their plan and to destroy it. Praise the Lord. That is why the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 19, he said he has given you what, what, power. He said whatever thing you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. So we are going to be binding the activities of darkness. Whatever may be their plans, we are going to be destroying them by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the blood of Jesus, and in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we do that, we remain bound forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. One of their plans is to cause accidents. Accidents, multiple accidents. So what is the second half of the year? But we are going to be praying that he says, say, you are the church. He said, Peter, you are the church. He said, I've given you what? The key. You are the church, I am the church. He has given us the key. Any door where you open, I go open. If you shut up, you go shut. So we are going to be shutting some doors and we are going to be opening some doors. But one of the doors we are going to be shutting, we are going to be shutting the doors of accident. We are going to be praying, say, Father, every organized strategy from the pit of hell, every organized strategy from the pit of darkness to cause accident that will claim life of your loved ones. That will cause accident that will claim life of anyone under this assignment. To claim life of the children of God in this second half of the year. Father, we stand to say no. We command every of us that we cancel in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You have people that travel, even within Lagos State, outside Lagos State. You can decide to leave your home. You are going to your place of business, your place of work. Because this plan has been strategized from the pit of hell. You find that you say, ah, the accident no struggle, but the person is like, begin to say, ah, from tonight, August, September, October, November, December, every organized strategy from the powers of darkness, from the feet of earth, to cause accident that will claim life of my young God. I say no to it in the name of Jesus. To claim life of innocent people. Father, we say no. We ask to them. We render their plans useless in the name of Jesus. Father, we say no. We render their plans useless in Jesus' name. We pray. The blood sucking demons, they must suck blood. Look. Just the way you and I must drink water. Their own is blood. So they will go all out to make sure that they have blood to suck. That part time there is blood in their blood bag. In the office, they have blood bag where they stop blood. In the money kingdom, they have blood bag where they stop blood. Because that is what they drink. Okay. So you are going to be decreed. And one of the easiest ways they do that is multiple accidents. You go and even just find an auxiliary that is carrying over how many hundreds of people who just die. Because they must watch, have blood in their blood bag. You are going to say, Father, in this second half of the year, we try our voice to that of heaven and we say no to every of their plans. In any way, they want to cause accident, multiple accidents, to claim life of innocent people of God, to claim life of state, the children of God. In my family, I say no in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how well, no matter how far. God, Father, today we come to it in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my Lord, we come to it. We do not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Another thing we are going to be coming against is domestic accidents. Every plan to make people to fall at home in their bedroom. The accidents of people that have died. The have brain issue as a result, they go back by themselves, they fall. That is the end. It's as a result of this plan. Because they must fulfill their purpose, their mandate. So they will go through diverse ways. We are going to say, Father, every form of domestic accident. So God, people to fall in the bedroom. In the staircase, we say no to it. Open your mouth and begin to cancel them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Father, oh Lord, fall in the bedroom, fall in the staircase. We say no. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my Lord, we say no to that plan. It will not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Every of those plans, we can't do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your God says, we can't do it in Jesus' name. It shall be canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Another form of domestic accident is what? Gas explosion and electric explosion. Father, that ah, 
There's God's explosion. Last year, towards that your beginning of this day, we're getting about it. God's explosion, God's explosion. They never rest. Then what will be like? Say, don't forget, they will come in a bigger way. Because the Lord has revealed to us. So we are going to be saved by that. Every form of God's explosion. We say no in our heart. We say no in the camp of the children of God. And let you make it explosion. We say no in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you are giving us the power to so bind and to lose. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By using any of the kitchen equipment. People that are working in factories, or people that are working with heavy duty equipment, just for like a dust strategy, because it has been planned. Like Mommy said, they have numbers of people that will die. So they will go all out to try to do this, but to do this, to make sure that they fulfill their mandate. So we are going to be saying no. Because at times we come and we say, only nice. That night, don't cut somebody, don't cut the Thanos, and the people did not recover from it again. So we are going to be saying, Father, every form of injury, through any equipment, kitchen appliances, we say no to it. We cast to every of their plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the first accident through kitchen equipment appliances, through any equipment. We say no to their plans in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. On our highways, we say, Father, we say no to accidents on the highway. Amen. We did Lagos and outside Lagos. There's a particular place. Every time something must happen, they will know it. That was the dollar bridge. You find that I want to what is it say that the time reached the time can break the train. Yes, as a result that there are things that have been planted there that you must take law. So we are going to say, Father, we stand in one accord as we join our voice to that concept. We say no to accident on our highways within Lagos, outside Lagos, in the name of Jesus Christ. Accident, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. From that time, Lord, we say no to it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every class in the name of Jesus Christ. And for God's time, my Lord, to have accident on our highways, buses, Lord, we don't pass it. God, we say no by the blood of Jesus Christ. We can't do every of such man in the name of Jesus Christ. But our Lord, By blood of the Lord, we say no. We shatter their plans. We shatter their plans. We shatter their plans in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You are also going to be saying no to plane crashes. Amen. You are going to be saying no to what plane crashes in Nigeria globally. We are going to say, Father, no. In the end of this year, and from the end of this year, Father, into 2021, we say there shall be no plane crash. Open your mouth and begin to pray. This prayer has given you power to decree, and he said it shall be established. Begin to say, Father, we say no to plane crashes in the name of Jesus. In Nigeria, Father, globally, we say no in the name of Jesus Christ. We say no to him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say no in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to be speaking to the permanent. We are going to be speaking to the permanent, permanent. The permanent we are, we are talking about flood, earthquake, white fire, tsunamis. We are going to say, they are, they are going to happen. But what we are saying, we say, Father, ah, let your children, O oh Lord, be exempted. Amen. Let it bypass the children of God. Amen. The elect of God. Because this is of the truth they will happen. Yes. We are only taking off in honor the blood of Jesus. By coming and by accepting. So we are going to be reinforcing. We say, Father, every disaster that is about to happen, we form a flood, earthquake, white fire, tsunami. We say, Father, we are exempted by your blood in the name of Jesus. Like, Father, when they happen, your pastor sign in the name of Jesus. We shall not partake of it. Your children will not partake of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like, my Father and my Lord, we shall not partake of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like, my Lord and my God, we shall not partake of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like, pray for your family member. Pray for your loved ones. Jesus Christ, and death of my father, and death of my father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, 
holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I'm going to be taking this song, the prophetic song. You don't know it's clap your heart. Every God hear all. They hear all. More Upon our lives, your feet, O Lord, upon our lives and our properties. In the name of Jesus, in 
name of Jesus Christ, I put your faith upon the lives of your children, upon the properties of your children. Everyone hearing our voice, we say the spirit of the Lord is upon your eyes. Everyone in this assignment, our Father, and is connected to this assignment. We put your faith, the spirit of your blood, upon our lives, upon the property, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Another of their plan is to cause what? Shipwreck. Shipwreck. Cargo ship. Their plan is to sink it. And you know what it means when we talk about cargo ship? The ship that are bringing goods from abroad. And maybe it's your brother or my brother that owns all those goods. But it didn't wreck. That means what they got lost. So we are going to be standing in the same fire. They never had their planning from the marine kingdom okay, to cause shipwreck. To cause shipwreck of cargo. For cargo to sink. We say, Father, so that there will be huge losses. We stand to say no. Because it is not your original mandate. You have declared your children to last this year. Every of their plan to cause losses. Good losses. Father, we say no to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, we stand to say no to shipwreck in the name of Jesus Christ. No cargo will sink in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, oh Lord, the cargo is carrying the goods of the children of God. They will not sink because your man is upon them in the name of Jesus. Your man of touchdown is upon them in the name of Jesus. We pray for the evil attacks in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to be calling for global peace. Our God is the governor over the affairs of the earth. And if he cannot work, rule in anarchy. Where there is no peace, it is anarchy. And the Bible makes us to understand that our God is the governor over the affairs of the earth. So we are going to fight we call for global peace. You are the Prince of Peace, Edge of Peace, Ray. In this second half of the year, from July to December, we call for peace. All our peace. In the name of Jesus. We call for peace. My Father and my God, Lord, we call for peace. We pronounce peace over Nigeria. We pronounce peace over Africa. In the name of Jesus. All over. Global. We declare peace. In the name of Jesus. In Lagos, State. Peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the federal capital. We say peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to be arresting every spirit that normally comes to arrest. Every spirit of fear, panic, violence, we are going to be arresting them. Because they are the only ones that can make peace not to reign. So those spirits, we are going to every spirit that has been assigned to cause unrest from July to December. Father, we command them to be arrested. We arrest them now. Open your mouth and pray. We are giving us power to bind and to lose. Begin to arrest every power that have assignment to cause arrest in July, August, September, October, November. We command them to be arrested in the name of Jesus. Every bit of fear that will make you ask for the life, bind them in the name of Jesus. Spirit of violence, spirit of fear, bind them. In the name of Jesus, bring of fire. In the name of Jesus, find them, find them, find them. In the name of Jesus, and begin to fight every spirit that want to cause terrorist attack. Begin to say, Father, in Nigeria, we find those spirit. In the name of Jesus, and every spirit that is responsible for causing terrorist attack, we find them. In the name of Jesus, and we command you lose your hold over Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold over July, August, September, October. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. What did the Lord has assured us is for his restoration? He said, I will restore. I will restore. I will restore. He said, even the year the cattle want to know for the caterpillars are sitting in the story. So we are going to be calling upon the Lord to restore no mercy back in Lagos State and in Nigeria. 
These are no more law no, no and again. But we have the mandate and the power, the authority to we'll restore what normalcy. So we are going to say, Father, we we'll restore normalcy in Lagos states. Even in Nigeria, we we'll say, let everything return back to normal. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. You are affected, I am affected. We we'll say, Father, we we'll call for normalcy. In the name of Jesus, right? In the name of Jesus, we say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we start no matter. In the name of Jesus, in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, right? In our own, in the mighty name of Jesus, right? Ah, you are the only God that can restore. We call upon you, Father, restore, 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 restore. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to be ransoming the God for the powers of darkness. The powers of darkness that is ruling the God's gate. I put this state. You can't have the lagoon. You can have the rubbish and have those things. They say there's powers of darkness are not ruling. They don't come to rule, they will go back. But we are going to be wrapped some in the God's gate from their hands. We are going to say, Father, we wrap some in the God's gate from the powers of darkness. Every power of darkness that is ruling the God's gate. We say, an end has come to your regime. And then that come to your country. As we step by in your kingdom, that the fire of the Lord will go under the water. The devil you are ruling from. We command fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't look at us. Don't begin to destroy. Don't stay in the name of Jesus Christ. We are never going to run. They are oppressing us. They are water. We set it on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Power of darkness. Let it take it over the coast. We send you back We destroy you in the name of Jesus. We destroy you. Destroy them from the God's name. Send them back out of the God's name in the name of Jesus. Begin to impeach them. Say, Father, we impeach those powers. We impeach those powers in the name of Jesus. Those entities, those powers, we drop the blood of Jesus. To render your power powerless. Yeah, we pray. Amen. We are going to be calling upon our Lord that 
that disappoint the devices of the craft. Job 5.12. So our Lord is the only one that can disappoint the devices of the craft. What are the devices of the craft you are going to pray about? Mommy was just telling me this morning. There are clothes that have been branded with demonic symbols for children and toddlers. And it's a well-known celebrity that have gone to manufacture it. If you see the demonic score of human being, toddlers and for children, and the what is all over now. Parents will go and begin to buy them, but you don't know that it has been worked on. Just the way they are praying to enter the second half of the year, they are praying for those clothes, and the argument is that those clothes are supposed to go and fulfill it. To capture children. Before we are crying, we are saying this youth is youth. Maybe they believe now. No, no, no. They should want to start very early. And you know, to do children deliverance is very, very hard. In that child, we stayed on this, the age of accountability, where it can start to say, no, it's you, mother, that will be standing. Maybe mm -hmm. that is why they want to start early. But we have a God that is wiser than them. Yes. So we are going to say, Father, every of their devices, the devices of the craft, that they branded all of the money clothes for daughters. We say we use the blood of Jesus Christ to nullify the effects in the name of Jesus and the purpose of those clothes. We say the blood of Jesus Christ nullify them in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, with every of their effort in the name of Jesus Christ, every effort they are put together to produce those clothes that have been branded as a demon in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus Christ, our Father, begin to destroy them. They will not perform their mandate in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not stand to speak with the blood of Jesus Christ upon them. Also begin to release fire to locate those clothes. So begin to burn them. Let the Lord say, straight fire, straight fire, in the Lord watching. We are producing those clothes. Fire, locate, destroy, locate, destroy, locate, destroy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. We pray. Amen. We are going to be praying because we know Lord God is here and do answer us in this place. We are going to be joining our voice so far. We pray against the continuous lockdown of schools. We find that now forget this online that we say we are doing. In no open and the reward. They say you know the panadol, you don't feel like panadol. Forget all this one that say. They do one like how many of that many times? They will teach you the master English. The one they teach you like to like teach and talk inside their ear, they know you are for them. Like what they do for the English. So we are going to say, Father, we don't tire. I can talk about my language. We don't tire. We they hear us always. Concerning this lockdown, we say, Father, no. Arise and put a stop to it. Okay. Our children cannot continue to depend on the internet. They go there for two hours, the remaining hours of the day go. They go wash feet. So we are going to say, Father, arise. You are the master planner. Our God is the God, is wisdom itself. It's just that wisdom on how to go about it. All this thing will be over. We are going to be calling upon the wisdom itself. We say, Father, let there be an end to this continuous love. Ah, of schools, of church, Father, arise, bring it to an end. Hey, my Lord and my God, bring it to an end. Our children, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, cannot be depend on internet. My Lord and my God, arise, arise, bring it to an end. In the name of Jesus, let's go for wisdom, go to the open schools again. We say, Father, give our leaders wisdom to the open schools again. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my Lord, wisdom to the open schools, wisdom to the open churches. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us our leaders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Let's cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Mention them by name. The children of, of, of God. We say, Father, we cover our children. Every children are in the covenant. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. The children with this assignment. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We soak them the blood. The blood is big. The blood will defend. The blood will extend them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to be praying. Say, Father, the blessings you have marked for me the second half of the year. No power will take it for me. 
Me, I cannot even take it for myself. I will not eat that. I say, so far, everything you have to mark from me. Every agenda of the pit of hell. To take me away from my place of blessing. To take me away from my place of blessing. Father Lord, I say no. Help me, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you are praying, begin to ask for instruction. For the second half of the year, there's that instruction that you need to accept. Say, Father, I ask for this instruction. Release them to me. Release them to me. Instruction. The way to go. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to be proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ over the second half of the year. We say, Lord, I proclaim the name of Jesus Christ over July. You make sure we go over August, over September, over October, November, December. Say, I proclaim the name of Jesus Christ over each day, Father, in the remaining second half of the year. I proclaim the name of Jesus. Jesus, I proclaim the name over July. I proclaim the name over August. I proclaim the name over September. I proclaim the name over October. I proclaim your name over November. I proclaim your name over December in my life. In this day, as I join it to the end of the second half, I proclaim your name, Jesus, Lord over my life. Lord over my life. Lord over my life. And we proclaim your name with the free every other. Bow to the name of Jesus. Every other. Surrender to the name of Jesus. All that have been erected. All that have been erected. In the month of July. In the month of August. In the month of in the month of October, in the month of November, in the month of December, I command you, bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bow to the name of Jesus. Surrender to the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray this one last prayer. Say, Father, at the end of the year, when will we come to our Lord in this That everyone in my camp will not be this. We have started the year full. I have started the second half full. Father Lord, I will end this full. No member of my family committed to be missing. Missing my death. And none of them will be in the prison. Father, oh Lord, as you count. Father, oh Lord, no one in my camp will be missing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I know the dear shadow of your wings. Protect us, oh Lord. I know in your secret place where the powers of darkness, the wicked cannot touch us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We celebrate you. Lord, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all.
done all things, glorious, wonderful things, awesome things. He has not left us in the dark. Why not appreciate the faithful God, the light himself, who has descended as light in our midst. Return all glory back to him. Thank him for what he has done in our midst today. Thank him for removing all that he has removed from you and I. Appreciate his faithfulness. Thank him and thank him. Return all glory back to him that he has done glorious and marvelous things in our midst today. That indeed our God has done us well. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Ever faithful God. Ever reliable God. You have not left us the same way that we came in this morning. Thank you for the fourth day that indeed you have shown forth as the fourth man in our midst again. Lord, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord and praise the Lord. about you, but I'm so excited because God is doing wonders. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Please let's listen to the great announcement as you package your offering. Please let's be reminded of the men's Bible club on Saturday. Men in the house, remind your husband to connect to the Bible class on Saturday or be on ground as they are led. But we encourage them to be live here because the topic that we discussed that day yourself a day later. And I know you will bless in the name of Jesus. Basket is still on, don't forget. Send for to send your seed or good materials as you are able, as God has enabled you to in the name of Jesus. I believe God mommy explained better to us than yesterday. And let's not forget, let's do it as God has commanded. Also, if you want to give online, the ministry account is displayed online. But if it's not yet there, it's coming up. But you can write it down with your pen. It's cheap, uh, guaranteed trust bank. 0011-271-502. 0011-271-502. Royal Holy Ministry. GTB. Royal Holy Ministry GTB is the ministry account. Please don't send your seed to anybody's, any member's account. The ministry has an account, you can do that as you are led by the Spirit of God. A special announcement to the singles in the house and the young couples in the house, both watching online. Don't forget, tomorrow is the deep day. I don't know about you, but remember, mommy made a statement there, she said, if you don't prepare for something, you will not see the manifestation. So if I were you, I would prepare very well that, Lord, I am coming to meet with you. You are invited to a feast by the Lord Jesus himself. So come and meet with him tomorrow. Get prepared. Come prepared. Come fasting. As the Lord meets you in particular in the name of Jesus. Also for the young couples in the house or watching online, that you know your marriage is another way God has actually programmed or ordained marriage to be. Don't forget, you can look up online and watch two uh, social media, or you talk on ground, like young couples whose marriages are not going this, the way God has ordained them to be. Or your husband is among those that live in the diaspora. You have not been able to meet him or join him. Please make yourself available. God has something special for you. And I know you will not disappoint in the name of Jesus. We have a testimony here from one of us. He said last week, our husband, I think she remembered that morning as the prayer was going on, prayed against domestic accident. That her husband was in the bathroom, taking his bath, and all of a sudden he fell in the bathroom. But she's here to be talking to God because nothing happened to him. God, he fell on the bathroom side, but there was no injury. He said, Father, to you, the other glory. And then God who has been preserving and keeping us. Bless your holy day. Jesus Christ, we are giving thanks. Please don't forget to invest in our food bank. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, send your testimonies online to royalolympiadministry at gmail.com. For those watching it online, send your testimonies to royalolympiadministry at gmail.com. Do you have your office in your hand? Please write up to Jesus, and 
knowing that it will do you well in Jesus' name. So as you come and take, remember, one more day to go. Go in peace. The good Lord bless you. The good Lord refresh you. I know God has done great and mighty things. Please, please share your testimony. It is not when you have a big car that God has done you well. When you have an encounter with light, God has done greatly. When you have a shift in your spirit, a movement, knowing that God has done something, testify so that God will perfect what you have started in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.